Respawn AI in Wave Attacks. Today I'm going to show you a simple way of setting up AI that respawns in Wave Attacks without scripts, mods, or modules. We're going to need a player. We're going to go to NATO, men. We're going to choose a grenadier. And I'm going to face him in this direction. And I'm going to edit him and disable his damage. Then we're going to edit his loadout. Right click and edit his loadout. And I'm going to choose a loadout that I want to use for this. And it's going to be this one. Uh, except without the launcher. And that's it. Alright, so next we're going to go to props. And we're going to type in ammo. And we're just going to put down a basic ammo box from NATO. Face it that way. And that's all we have to do for the player going to create three waves of AI that are basically going to respawn and attack the player. So let's go to the map and we're going to use the independent faction and then FIA and then men and we're going to put down a rifleman and uh, let's start them right here. Let's go to the map real quick to see where he's at about. Yeah, that's a good spot. We're going to give him a waypoint. So to give him a waypoint, just make sure he's highlighted. And then you're going to right click. We're going to just extend it a little bit. And we're going to make this waypoint a seek and destroy. We're not going to extend it just yet because we got some other stuff we need to do. So that's one soldier. So what you're going to do now is you're going to copy this soldier and his waypoint. And we're going to make a bunch of them. So control C, and then we're just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. From here, we're just going to edit a couple of these guys and kind of change who they are. So we're going to make this guy a grenadier. We'll make this guy an auto rifleman. We'll make this guy a sharpshooter. Alright, so now you got a little template. You're going to basically highlight them all. Now here's the trick. This is the trick. If you don't do this, this the AI will not respond. So you're going to highlight them all. Don't worry about the waypoints. And then you're going to right click one of them. And then you're going to go to attributes. And then you're going to scroll down. And basically you want to go to object control set them as playable. So you'd set playable and hit OK. So now that they're set playable you should see a purple reddish ring around each one of those soldiers. Copy all these guys so highlight them all. Press Control C and then we're gonna go down here a little bit. Press Control V so these guys are down this way about right about there is fine and we're just going to face them just a tiny bit and then we're going to go down here control V again and we're going to just face them in this direction we're going to take all these waypoints and extend them all the way to the military cargo building so we'll just make sure that all these guys are up by the cargo building and then we're going to do the same these guys let's put these guys a little bit closer so we got space to grab the uh, the waypoints all right so we're gonna grab these waypoints and then we're gonna extend all these up to here and we'll just move these guys in just a little bit closer and then put these guys a little bit back and same thing for these guys. Just highlight their waypoints and just bring them up all the way to the military cargo building where the player is at. Now here's how we get these guys to respawn. First we need to go to attributes and we're gonna go to general. So understand if that if you use independent, the independent faction that by default they are friendly to blue 4 and we are blue 4 so you want to just click that and make sure that they're enemies 
Otherwise, they'll come in, in and then they're not going to be shooting at you or anything. We're going to go to markers and we're going to go to icons and then we're going to go to respawn and then to the respawn icon and we're going to scroll in and we're going to place the marker here. So right now we're just going to do one marker, edit the marker. For the independent faction, the variable name is going to be respawn underscore gorilla. And that's, that's it. That's what you have to do there. So if you hover your mouse cursor over it, it'll say respawn gorilla. Click that so it's highlighted. You can't really see it, but press control C. And then go over here. Press control V. And then go over here. And then press control V again. So now you have three waves of AI that are going to be respawning. Next, what you want to do is you want to go back to attributes and we're going to go to multiplayer. Yes, the only way AI and players can respawn is in multiplayer. We need to set up the respawn settings. So under respawn, you're going to go to respawn on custom position. And then now here's, here's something that you want to keep in mind of is the respawn delay which is how long before the AI respawns. So let's give them 10 seconds. That's basically all you need to do. Just hit OK and that's set up. What happens is at the start of the mission the all these AI are going to be rushing the player's position and trying to kill him. So if you killed all these guys, then in 10 seconds, they will all respond. We're going to save this. I'm going to save this under Altus, and we're going to name this respawn underscore AI underscore wave, waves. And we have saved, so that's our mission. In order to test this and have AI respawn, you need to set up an MP LAN server. So we're going to go to play and we're going to play in multiplayer. We're going to set up our server and this is the only thing that we could choose which is our player and let's check it out. So let's hit continue. We're going to stay hidden for the moment. So here they come. Yeah, it's a whole mess of them. So let's do some damage. Go to spectator real quick. Hopefully we can catch some spawn in. So you got more coming. And you got guys coming from back here. So you see that some some have respawned spawned in. I'm going to show you something else with this. On these markers, what you could do instead of a single point that's real small, you could do something like this. 
where you'll take, let's just highlight these, copy this, and just delete the respawn points for the AI, and we go to areas. Now this is still a marker, but instead of a small marker, the AI will respawn within this huge marker so they'll be more spread out. So what you're going to do is just edit this marker and then go control V hit OK. We're going to use the uh, area widget and just kind of streamline it a little and just um, give it a little oval shape and then we're going to spread it out just a little bit more so that when they spawn in, they're spawning in in a wider area. So now you just take this, control C, highlight the marker, press control C, and then just, and then back here, hit control V, and there you go. So let's save that, and let's test it out. Go to spectator. And you can see some of them spawned in. We had to take care of some of these guys because they're just. You see where they're spawning at they're basically all spaced out within that marker all right guys let me show you one more thing leave this B we're just gonna move this to the side instead of single guys we're just gonna pick one guy and basically group all these guys here we go that's what we wanted so now Choose our hero. So with this, you can basically have whole squads, if you will. That's what we're creating here. Whole groups. That will respawn so now let's see let's move these guys here and let's extend this a little bit wider and that's fine like that alright so there you go so we'll save that and let's check it out three big squads coming now let's see what happens when you kill a squad Uh, 
Let's go to spectator. Squads are iffy because they they like to wait for each other. So like you'll you'll see guys uh, spawning in, and sometimes they'll just sit there and wait for the rest of the squad to you know spawn in, or they won't move. It really depends. Now you see how they're all congregating because now now you have you know AI that are communicating with each other instead of just single units on their own. It's a little bit different when you got a full squad. Alright guys, I want to conclude this here. I hope you enjoy that. I hope you find that useful. The single units do better. So some, something to keep in mind for more tutorials. Take a look at this playlist.